In this video, we're going to look at two ways that artificial intelligence can help capture meeting minutes. Why two ways of doing it? Great question. So this problem has already been solved by a company that provides a cloud-based solution, but I wanted to show how to do it on your own as well, using Python and an open source library from OpenAI, just in case you're not able to have your meeting minutes floating around in the cloud. So let's say you have a regular weekly meeting and every now and then some really important decisions are made with good rationale. and You wanna document those decisions into some meeting minutes and then maybe generate a PDF out of that or possibly put it up on Confluence. Well, we're gonna show you some easy ways to do that so that you don't have to spend your time typing what people say. So let's start by looking at the dependencies for installing the OpenAI library Whisper that's really good for transcribing. So the first thing we'll wanna check is to make sure your computer has FFmpeg installed. Right now I'm doing this on my Mac so you type ffmpeg-version, you would do that on either a Mac or a PC. And here on the Mac, if you don't have ffmpeg installed, you'll want to type brew install ffmpeg. If you don't have homebrew installed on your Mac, or if you want to install it from a PC, you can just go to ffmpeg.org and download it from there. To make this easier, on my Mac, I've installed a custom environment called Whisper. In a previous tutorial, we talked about how to install Conda using Miniforge for Apple Silicon Macs. So right now I'm using my Apple Silicon Mac and I've created a new environment from Conda called Whisper. Okay, so to activate that environment, we type Conda activate and I named it Whisper because that's the name of the open library we're using. Conda activate Whisper. Okay, now you can see we're in the Whisper environment. In this environment, we've got Python, and in the computer, we already have FFmpeg. Let's go ahead and install uh, the Whisper library. That's pip install git plus https colon forward slash github.com slash open AI forward slash whisper dot git. Here goes. All right, that's cloning, getting the dependencies. Looking good. All right. Okay, this is a test of Whisper. Let's see if this works. Let's throw some crazy words in and see what happens. Let's say the word Blaglark. What is Blaglark? Who knows? Let's say Puma. Puma jumping over a fence. There you have it. Okay, sending that by airdrop to the MacBook over here. And it's done. Okay, let's take this one called new recording. So let's let's run a little test to make sure that Whisper install worked. So we're going to try to run it on the little recording that I just made. So the first time you run it, it has to download the model from the internet. Wow, okay, so uh, here's the output. It says, okay, this is a test of Whisper. Let's see if this works. Let's throw some crazy words in and see what happens. Let's say the word Blaglark. What is Blaglark? Who knows? Let's say Puma, Puma jumping over a fence. There you have it. So I can tell you, if you just tried using text-to-speech on your phone, that would not be that accurate. It would not accurately spell made-up words like Blaglark. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I honestly don't know how it did that because that word doesn't even exist and it spelled it kind of right. <laughs> if you like, you can run Whisper as a library and a Python script and you can use that to generate an RTF or a PDF. Or if you want, you can do just what we did and run it out of the command line. Once it's installed, just type Whisper followed by the location of the audio file on your computer. If you want to just use command line, don't forget you can also pipe the output to a file. Everybody remembers piping in the command line, right? It's the vertical line command on Windows, and it's the greater than symbol on Macs and Linux. Let's try to use otter.ai to do the same thing, and let's use the same awkward sentence to see if it can translate just as well. So first of all, it's gonna to need to take over the microphone for your computer. So allow it. Ah, it's 
getting started already. Okay, this is a test of Otter AI. Let's see if this works. Let's throw in some crazy words and see what happens. Let's say the word Blaglark. What is Blaglark? Who knows? Let's say Puma. Puma jumping over a fence. There you have it. Stop recording. And now you notice that with Blaglark, actually, interestingly enough, uh, the AI system, the Whisper open source library from, uh, from OpenAI, was able to accurately guess at least how I would spell the made up word Blaglark, uh, but Otter AI uh, didn't spell it correctly and it tried changing it to Blog Lark. And then uh, I think it tried bookmark and then switched it to blog lark again, uh, sort of guessing that was the best estimate of it. To be fair, I'm throwing a completely made up word uh, at it. And so it should not be able to get that word right at all. But I think both of them made an interesting attempt. So if your company is able to use the cloud, it's nice and easy to just use Otter AI. It can actually integrate in with your systems to create transcripts and meeting minutes. Uh, pretty seamlessly, and it can even keep track of who's saying what as well. So which is better, Whisper or Otter AI? Well, for starters, if you truly can't be in the cloud because of your business, then you have to use the one that brings the model into your computer and transcribes it locally. Do keep in mind, though, if you're using meeting software over the internet, your meetings may already be a bit in the cloud. That said, searchable text could be riskier to allow in the cloud from an operational security standpoint. Another thing to consider is keeping your meetings inclusive. You can use the recorded meeting aspect of this to empower your participants. Generate the meeting transcript before the end of the meeting, and then get with your entire team and decide as a group what is official meeting minutes worthy. That way, you're empowering your team, bringing folks together around the meeting minute. So which one is better? As always, this depends on the audience. If you're working with a group of managers, a nice and easy, completed solution is really great, like Otter AI, and that could be preferable. While if you're capturing meeting minutes with a group of engineers, you definitely get some command line cred using a homegrown solution with an open source library. From my perspective, rolling your own transcriber is definitely more fun. What do you all think? Also, would you like to see different languages tested out with this transcriber? Or maybe some Python code that can generate an RTF or a PDF? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and as always, if you made it this far, please consider giving a like or subscribing. Thanks.